It's a chilly Thursday night and you've just gotten off work. This has felt like one of the longest days you've faced in recent memory. Even though nothing exceptional has happened, a ton of minor things kept going wrong and co-workers tried your patience throughout the day. You've considered leaving work early, but you've already had enough absences lately on the days you feel too crushed by the job to get out of bed and didn't want to risk it. You're lost in thought on the commute home and your feelings of frustration both with your life and the world around you build as you run into minor annoyances like someone bumping into you really hard as they walk by. By the time you get home, you're exhausted and in a moment of metacognition, you realize that if you don't snap out of it, you're probably in for a long and tiring night as well. These pent-up feelings aren't dying down and they're eating at you. You open the front door and stare at your apartment. An overwhelming feeling of exhaustion overcomes you and you feel like your energy levels are low enough that you'll likely settle into a single activity tonight. What do you do? Okay, I can't shake off your bad mood and do something fun for the rest of the evening. I can't reach out to someone close to you. All I can do is bur don't burden anyone with your problems and distract yourself. You are severely depressed. Your motivation levels are non-existent. You alternate between feeling totally apathetic to panicking about things out of your control. You lack energy to do much more than sleep the days away, yet your constant feelings of worthlessness prevent you from getting any actual rest. You feel like dying, but ironically are too drained to actually do to actually act on the, these feelings. You're not currently seeing a therapist. You're not currently taking medication for depression. All right, let's distract ourselves. That's code for more internet porn. <laughs>